Sebelum nonton jangan lupa untuk like, subscribe, dan klik tombol loncengnya. Ciao semuanya, balik lagi di vlog kali ini kita mau bikin review review lagi. Tapi uh, ini kayak apa? beda dari biasanya bukan snack-snack biasa karena hari ini aku udah nyiapin beberapa kerupuk asal Indonesia seperti ini 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 dan ini ya jadi di sini udah ada empat uh, suami aku seperti biasa akan memberikan reaksinya gimana dia suka atau enggak sama kerupuk ini uh, karena dia biasanya nggak terlalu suka kerupuk sih karena menurut dia kalau makan kerupuk pakai kayak nasi gitu kayak nggak cocok karena biasanya menurut dia ini tuh kayak snack snack gitu but you don't really like to eat the meal with the crackers right? No, I'm not used to like uh, yeah to me it's almost like putting potato chips on top of the food Yeah, because it's weird. like yeah, yeah. Uh, ada beberapa yang sebenarnya ini udah pernah coba tapi uh, buat lihat reaksinya lagi karena udah lama banget ya nggak makan. Yang pertama aku ada uh, ini adalah emping melinjo dari Jakarta. Terus aku ada kerupuk ikan ini dari sidoarjo. Terus aku ada opak. Opak ini aku uh, dikirim sama aku dari uh, Sukabumi. Terus yang terakhir adalah kerupuk mie ini dari Jakarta. Nah, sekarang kita mulai aja ya. So we're going to try. This is like different. Yeah. Flavor different it, type. It, it's funny that this one in a jar and those one. <laughs> yes, because I don't. Because I don't have okay. four jars, so I okay. just put it so in the jar. So it's for me. Yeah. So we're just going to start with the one. So I think you have tried this. This is cassava. No, it's no? made of. This um like a it looks like an olive, but it's not an olive. If we call it melinjo. Melinjo. Yeah. So you can try it and let me know if you like it or not. Pink melinjo. You remind me about cassava, but it doesn't really taste of anything. But it has an aftertaste, no? No, I would. So you can. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. We have to say this. It kind of reminds me a bit of corn, almost like mm -hmm. corn chips. But it has like a bitter aftertaste. Yeah, it's right. a bit bitter, which probably not for everybody. Mm. I don't mind it. No. This one is really Can I good. like it's not too salty and... This one is actually really good if you eat it with like sort of soup We call it top of tawi mm. It's so good because they usually put it in the soup and then it become like mm, I guess probably with the soup makes more sense really yeah. mm. okay. So from 1 to 10 1 to 10 is a lot You should have done the 1 to 5 But let's let's give it 1 to 10 um, 7 Seven. Cool. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Lanjut yang kedua. Ini adalah kerupuk ikan dari uh, Sidoarjo. This is the fish cracker. Okay. okay. From East Java. Smells like fish. Hmm. 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 I like seafood a lot, so this is my kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Alright. Can you taste the fish? Mm. You can even smell it. Oh. At first, but maybe some people wouldn't like it because it's kind of fishy, the smell. Yeah. But it is good. Yeah, yeah we I do like have it. the prone crackers as well, but since I can't eat the prone, mm. so I just buy the fish crackers. Fair enough. Yeah. So, one to ten. I will give it eight. Eight, wow. Mm. <laughs> Good. Okay. Next. 
third one ini adalah kerupuk mie biasanya suka dipakai buat asinan so this is we call it the kerupuk mie it's just like a noodle okay, yeah. but it's made of um, rice flour and this looks a little bit more intimidating it looks like uh, one of those things that you put on uh, dough on Christmas <laughs> it's made of rice flour we, we and then we usually eat it uh, sometimes with the sort of like a pickle soup Okay. Uh, so usually, so it's made with rice flour. Yes, okay. and then and sometimes you just even use the palm sugar, the melted palm sugar on top. So you eat uh, the sweet? Not really the sweet. Uh, it's like a snack. Okay. But yeah, I. Aku cuma bikin satu soalnya cuma buat nyobain. Visually, it's not really appealing me. But yeah. I'm just going to cut the meat and try yeah. it a bit. Uh, it almost smells. It smells almost a bit cheesy. Cheesy? Mm. Uh, it doesn't taste anything. It just tastes like rice flour. Yeah. So what do you think? To me, it's like almost pointless. <laughs> No, because usually we don't eat. No, it's not. Days. It's not terrible, but yeah, it's we quite meh. Yeah, we usually eat with the. It's like a fruit pickle. It's like some somehow it's also look like a fruit salad. And then we put it this on top, so you don't eat just like this. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess, guess to try. I guess out 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 outside of the context. Um, it's probably like maybe not ideal just to try and stand alone like this. Yes. I would say a six. Six. Mm. So this one is you, the one that the you one like that the one that I like the least at the moment. Okay, the last one. Ini adalah opak, tapi kebetulan aku punyanya yang yang agak pedes sih. Jadi ini opak ini aku dapat dari uh, memaku kirimin dari Sukabumi. So this one is actually made of cassava. Okay. But it's a little bit spicy actually because this one is. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind a bit of spicy. But I really like this one. I think you tried it before as well. That it doesn't have any smell. Doesn't really smell, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it has a different taste. Hmm. I like this one a lot. Mm. Mm. Also because of the spicy kick, it's nice. Yeah. So, I mean, does it taste not like something that you probably already? Yeah, it's peculiar. Before? It's really like this is my favorite so far. Mm. Like this one, yeah, nine. I love this one. Mm. This is a nine. Because you also like cassava, right? You I like try, cassava. We try other type of food with cassava in Indonesia before, yeah. Mm, it leaves you also, wow, mm, kind of, yeah, it, it is gives the really kick spicy. again. Mm, <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but it's not, it's not too crazy. Well, if I eat tens of these, then maybe it will start to <laughs> take a toll on me. But, yeah, it's probably mm. too spicy for most of foreigners. So, what do you think about the Indonesian crackers? Well, in general, I think they're very nice because they're, you know, they, they they look and they taste healthy, as opposed to most of the normal, general like uh, Western, you know, snacks like crackers or chips and stuff like that. But in the Western, um... but we don't have the culture of. Meal with the breaking this on top of food or adding to the food. I mean, uh, uh, you can think of that uh, as a snack. Mm. Maybe you could take a, a cracker and spread something on top. But if it's a chip, you just eat it by itself, or mm. you, you don't know, eat while drinking something, or, or with maybe some pickled veg vegetables or other things. But it's not that you integrate this. Especially in Italian cuisine, you don't accompany this with actual, you know, like a dish or pasta or whatever. So yeah, yeah. But in general, yeah, in general, I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, this again is probably the best. Papa. Yeah, and yeah, 
Maybe followed by this, the fish ones. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Then, then, then this one, this one for last. I, 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 I don't like anything with this. I don't like the exaggerated big shape. I'm, I'm just intimidating. I know. I'm just. You ask me. You ask. You ask for my opinion, and then there is my opinion. Also, because in the Western cultures, you don't really have much type of crackers. I mean, like you do have. I wouldn't even consider these crackers. We don't call these crackers. These are chips. Yeah, like chips, because you. In Italian, have... we say patatine. Which Usually made of patatine. Implies that it's made of potatoes. That even if it wouldn't be made of potatoes, they would. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Most similar to that. Crackers usually like a very dry, flat thing, bread. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's made with flour and milk. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Mm. Jadi itu tadi udah nyobain terus kalau um, kalian ada ide buat kita nyobain apa lagi mungkin yang bisa ditemuin di Wellington kalian bisa komen di bawah jangan lupa untuk di subscribe di like juga terus di share mungkin biar makin banyak yang uh, nonton videonya jadi kita makin semakan semangat buat bikin video baru sampai ketemu lagi di vlog berikutnya ciao. Oh.